Have you ever wondered what habits the millionaires have? Well, today what I want to do, I want to share with you seven millionaire habits that will help you become a millionaire. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson, a former high school teacher building an extremely successful online business and an extremely successful coaching business. And today I want to help you with some things that I know will help you. Hey, if you like this stuff, this is the first time in my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and leave me a comment. And I'll continually bring great tips for you to build your online business and help you through your journey. The seven millionaire habits that will help you become a millionaire. Now, before you get going, I, I really want to give a disclaimer here because everybody has different habits. These are the ones that are helping me, and I know they will help you. So, here we go. The first one is that I was always told by a mentor, extremely successful mentor, that I should be reading books. Now, as a teacher, <laughs> I've read a lot of books in my life, but I really got out of the habit of reading books books continuously. Now I'm in a habit of what I try to do is I try to read a book once a week, once every two weeks. Now I also listen on audio, so whatever works for you best. And I, to tell you the truth, I prefer audio, but I can't always be in a spot where I'm listening. So I read a book. Now the books I read are on self-help, marketing, how to build a business, how to become a better coach, but what I've heard are most people only read 40 books in their lifetime. So if I read one book a week, that's 52 books a year. I am so far ahead. I know if you read a book or listen to a book, you're going to be farther ahead than most people too. Now the second one, so that was the first tip was read books. The second one is you need your sleep. And I know, I know, I worked with a guy that only got four hours of sleep. And, and to tell you the truth, I did too. For a while, I mean, when we had kids, we were up late and I had to get up early and I didn't get much sleep. But you know what happens when you get sleep? I try to get seven, eight hours of sleep every night. I like being up early in the morning, so I go to bed early. But when I get sleep, everything's shifted. I'm not stressed out as much. I have energy. It's like my creative juices keep coming. Right? It's like all of a sudden things are opening up in the world that weren't opening up in the world when I wasn't getting much sleep because I was always stressed out. The third tip is drink water. And I know you've probably heard me say this before, but you know I drink 108 ounces a day. Some people say drink a gallon. If you're drinking a lot of water, you should get some electrolytes in there so you're just not all water. <laughs> But water did an amazing thing. One, keeps my skin looking good. I feel better. I don't put on that puffiness. I don't put on weight. It just helps me long run. It'll help you too. The next one is find a circle of people who encourage you and hold you accountable. Right? I have a circle of people that also tell me when I'm doing things wrong. And that's okay because I want people to pull things out of me and I want them to say, hey, I think you're going the wrong step. So find a circle of friends. The next one is either meditation or visualization or prayer. Every day I get up and I visualize. I mean, it's a habit millionaires do. They visualize where they're going. They close their eyes and for 30 seconds, they'll visualize on one thing. So if you're building a business, visualize on being successful in that business. If you're building a company, visualize that company building. If you're visualizing being successful, visualize being successful. Now, I'm not big in meditation. I know a bunch of people do it, but meditation can be a lot of different things. I say gratitude prayers, that's meditation. My visualize, that's meditation. I listen to people who are really smart in medication. Med meditation. Listen to Bob Proctor, Tony Robbins. I just listen and try to pick their brains to see what I can do be, do better in my life. The next one is journaling. 
And to tell you the truth, I go in streaks. I mean, I've had chemo, so I have neuropathy in my fingers. I don't write real well. But what I do is I write two to three sentences every day. Usually when I wake up, what I'm grateful for. Sometimes, you know, what the day before was like or what I'm trying to accomplish today. But it's usually just a gratitude journal. And it just keeps me going. The next one and the last one. That was six. I think. I'm looking at my list. Study marketing. Now, that's mine. I, I don't know if that's for you, but I'm building a business. And there are some unbelievable marketers out there. Now, I know you've seen a lot of successful people if you're in business. And sometimes the products and their services aren't the best out there. But you know what they're good at? They're good at marketing. So I study marketing. That's one of the books I read a lot. One of the videos I watch a lot. Because there's different patterns, different things happen in the world that you can tie into to help in your marketing. So there you go. Those are my seven habits. Let me go through them again. The first one is I read books. I suggest you read books or listen to audios. Number two is get enough sleep. Three is drink water. Four is meditation or visualization or prayer, whatever trips your trigger. Five is, I think I'm one short, <laughs> is journal. I am, this is six. Study marketing, but I got a good one right at the end. And the next one is be positive. I have a, a attitude of gratitude every day. And it's hard to be positive every day. I totally understand that. It's hard to be positive. Things happen in life that's hard to be positive. But have an attitude of gratitude. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for your friends. Be grateful for your going. So there you have it. Hey, what I would love for you to do, I want you to share with me the habit that you think will help you best. Or maybe it's a new habit that you're going to try. Put it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And we will see you again soon.